Hello everybody, it's -a me, Wario. And uh, yes, the TCW Q&A 30 responses are now here. So I got everybody with me, and yes, I know this is a very small crowd for a Q&A response video, but then again, we didn't get very many questions in this Q&A. Well, that's probably because we only asked like, what, five questions per user, so yeah. But anyways, let's get things started. First question comes to us from that one egg for breakfast. Interesting username. But anyways, he asks, wow, six years. That's a long time. Anyway, Tyler, have you heard of the internet show called Battle for Dream Island? And if so, could you make a series similar to it? A series where some of your characters from TCW or Egbert's Mania or The Simpsons form into groups and battle for prize by doing challenges in every episode. And then the losing team of the challenge are put up for elimination and the viewers get to vote, um, who is off the show. And the last person standing wins the show in prize. Similar to Total Drama Island or Survivor, but the viewers get to vote instead of the contestants. I honestly think it would be very interesting to see this happen, and I would be absolutely thrilled if you consider doing it. Thanks for reading this, and I apologize for being so lengthy. LOL. Oh man, that definitely is a really long response video, but uh, not a response video, but a response, uh, not... What am I even talking about? I'm, I apologize, but uh, really long question. But anyways, uh, fun fact, um, before I did YouTube, I actually did do a similar series to Total Drama Island, but except with um, Webkins, because I used to be into those at one point. But yeah, now nowadays, uh, I don't really consider doing it. Uh, I kind of have, because, you know, Luigi Fan 0001 like, does a series very similar to that. But the fact that the contestants get to choose who the... Uh, the loser is, I don't really know, it just like makes me have to like, you know, think about an idea about how, how the team gets to like, you know, lose and whatnot, and yeah, I don't know if that's really my kind of cup of tea, if you know what I'm saying, but uh, yeah, in other words, I don't really plan on doing so, um, I do have a lot of other plans for new shows in the future, um, and a lot of other new stuff too, so stay tuned for any videos where I announce those. Okay, thank you for the answer. Uh, next, next three questions come from Mondo Boy Sixteen, and the first one is Tyler. What do you think of the Porgs? You know, I think they're pretty cute. Uh, I'm sorry, I think they're pretty cute creatures. Gosh, Dane, I can't talk right today. <laughs> but anyways, I think they're pretty cool overall. Uh, I do kind of prefer those little like fox, ice fox creatures, whatever, whatever they're called. I kind of prefer them more from the Last Jedi. So yeah, that's my answer to that. Okay, next question. Tyler, have you ever played Team Fortress 2? I've thinking about considering playing it for a while, but yeah, not at the moment. Alright, next question. Uh, Bart, do you remember the episode of The Simpsons where you used 15 megaphones and lined them up to create a testing shockwave around Springfield? Uh, yeah, to answer that question, since The Simpsons have been around for almost 30 years, I don't really remember doing that episode, so... Yeah, to answer your question, no, I don't remember, sadly. Alright, uh, thank you for that. Uh, let me scroll up a little bit. Next question comes from Ronald Lyles. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I apologize if it's wrong. Wario, did you just hear that Toys R Us is going out of business? Yes, I heard that. It's very unfortunate that a big place like Toys R Us is going out of business. But yeah, if there's anything at Toys R Us you want to get, um, feel free to get it now. Which, hold on, bring the camera over here. I gotta show you something. We were just at Toys R Us like two weeks ago, and we got a couple of these uh, Warner Brothers Funko Mystery Minis, and we got this guy right here. If you wanna know why he's so special, he's exclusive to Toys R Us. And he's pretty rare, so yeah, we're very lucky to get him. And yeah, anyways, off topic, we're getting back over here. I apologize. Anyways, next question comes from Nicholas E. Miranda. I apologize once again for names. But Wario, how do you get Mario and Luigi sick? And what reason did you make uh, a lot of Q&A? That last part did not really make sense. But to answer your question about what I did in Mario and Luigi, uh, that's very easy. I gave him poison mushrooms. <laughs> uh, yes, I am a devil. Heck yes, I am. And these next five questions come from Angie Ortiz. And she asked, to Tyler, what is the best part of making videos? Well, honestly, for me, the best part of making videos is just coming up with silly ideas 
and putting them into format and see what I can do with them, which characters, you know, are involved and whatnot. And not only that, another part that I really like is just hearing what people think about them. You know, I do appreciate a lot of the comments I get on my videos, so I appreciate that I, uh, I appreciate you guys for watching my stuff, and that's why I continue to do videos to this day. Even though I'm, I'm doing other stuff in real life. Yes. Okay. All right. To any Angry Birds Mania character of Tyler's choice, what is your opinion on some birds eating their own offspring? Well, I'm gonna come up here. Since I am Tyler's favorite Angry Birds Mania character, no offense to you guys down there, but, uh, yeah, what do I think about it? Um, pretty weird. I don't know why they do it. Like, I think from what I've heard, it's a self-defense thing. But, uh, yeah, just not, nothing that I would do or any any of us will do, so, yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, next question, to Homer. What is your favorite toy as a child? Let me get up here. Well, you see, my favorite toy as a child was definitely, um, the donut making machine. That is seriously a thing? Yes, that actually is a thing. At least back when I was a kid, which, at this point, if I was a kid, that would have been like in the 70s or 80s, since The Simpsons is going on for a really long period of time and I'm still alive, and I'm still like, I don't know, middle-aged or something, but yeah. So that was my favorite toy as a kid, a donut-making machine. Whether you say it's a toy or not, it's up to you, but I loved the heck out of that thing, and that's how my body is nowadays. <laughs> oh man, I should really lose some weight. Alright. Uh, next question to Larry. Which artist inspired you to do amazing artwork and why? Well, okay, first of all, uh, thank you for saying that my artwork is amazing. Uh, not very many people say that. But, uh, if you're wondering who inspired me, it's definitely Claude Monet. I really like his, uh, his use of, like, you know, paint and watercolor. So, yeah, that, he's my inspiration, which is why I did that box based on him, like, a couple years ago. So, yeah, Claude Monet was my inspiration. Alright, last question from Angie goes to Leroy. What was the funniest moment you had with Larry? Man, that's like an easy question to answer, Fo. It's definitely the time when uh, Larry found out that, like, for whatever reason, my uh, my, my, my ex-girlfriend, Marsha, and uh, somebody else, like, had a crush on him. It was hilarious seeing his reaction to that. It, oh my god, it was funny. No, it isn't, Leroy. Shut up, Fo. It is. All right, and now the last five questions for this Q&A go to, uh, no wait, not last five, um, the next five questions. Okay, there we go. The next five questions come from Mr. Feather 130 uh, and his first question is, to Tyler, which upcoming film in 2018 are you looking forward to? Well, if I had to pick, like, the movies I'm looking forward to the most, um, it would definitely be The Incredibles 2, um, yeah... Trying to think of any others. I think that's probably the only movie I'm looking forward to this year is uh, The Incredibles 2. Okay, next question. Big Brother Tonto, is steamed hams a good meme or not? Well, I've barely seen any steamed ham memes out there besides this one where, like, it's basically just steamed hams, but it goes along with the beats of that one gorilla song called Feel Good Incorporated, so yeah. That's the only one I've seen, um... I don't know what to think about it, so I don't have an answer for that. Sorry. Alright, uh, next question to Hootoot. What is your thoughts of Toys R Us going out of stores this year? Well, since this was a question that Wario already answered, uh, I'm pretty disappointed about it too. Of, Especially in terms of Amiibos, you know? Like, in my opinion, Toys R Us is probably the best retailer when it comes to Amiibos. Like, they have a lot of them, unlike other places. Heck, Nowadays, I don't, I don't really see Amiibos anymore like GameStop and Walmart for some weird reason. Uh, so with Toys R Us going away, the only stores nowadays that have Amiibos are Best Buy and Target. So, yeah, I'm very upset about that. Especially since I do like Amiibos, so, yeah. Alright, last, no, not last question, a uh, second to last question. This question goes to me, of course. Are you ready for the next Smash Bros game for the Switch? Heck yes, I am, baby! And I hope to be in the game, of course. I'm sure they'll put me in the game, but who knows for sure. And now the last question from Mr. Feather 130 Uh, Doodle, how far can you jump on the tallest mountain? Alright, man, that's like a really tough question. Um, I did try jumping, um, uh, the Appalachian Mountains before, and 
the highest I can go is about um, a thousand feet, so yeah. Anyways, are they even a thousand feet? I don't even remember. Okay, and now we are down to the last two questions of the Q&A, and they're both from ED Mario 274 and This question goes to me, and he asks, or she, I don't know, would you consider yourself fat or muscular? I am both. No other answer to that, I'm both. And the last question, does Sonic, do you actually like Totinos, or is the whole Totinos and Sonic Mania thing just a joke? Um, I know I'm like Sonic and all, and I've been in a lot of, um, things recently, but, uh, yeah, I didn't really know about what this whole Totinos thing is about, but, uh, yeah, I've got no comment about that, because, to be honest, I don't know what it is, so, yeah. Alright, everybody, and that was the last of the Q&A 30. Thank you to everybody who asked questions. Uh, Q&A 31 will come out next year, so <laughs> you gotta wait a while for that. I apologize, but uh, other than that, we do have a survey going on right now. Uh, if you have not yet entered the survey, uh, go do it now if you want. We'll leave a link in the description below for you to fill out that survey. Uh, results for that will be May 14th, so yeah, get uh, answer the survey before then, please. I mean, we only have, like, four answers so far. We would like to have way more. I know we don't normally, like, shoehorn things onto our channel, but this is kind of the one thing where I really want a lot of people to participate in, so... Yeah, just fill out that survey, and you'll see what the results are, like, next month. So, that's about it. Um, stay tuned for more videos on this channel. Uh, the next episode of TCW's Puppets will be coming out tomorrow. But, uh... Yeah, and this is Wario, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go steal some money. Well, I might as well film the next episode of Cracks My Egg next week. I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye, Peter Tonto. Hey, Archie, why the heck are you sniffing my butt? That wasn't me, Sonic. I, th Your butt was in my face. Ugh, whatever. I I'm getting out of here, man. Well, I don't know what else to do. I, I might as well stay here for today.